Okay, sorry about that. My video got interrupted by a phone call, so we'll start as part two of this. Uh, there was a tribe that was found that they were very much high uh, 4D. Uh, definitely lived in the now. Um, they went with exactly what they needed in the moment. They didn't have words for numbers at all. There was no, no, no words for numbers. Um, it was a very, very interesting video. If I can find it, I'll put the link down below um, so that y'all can see it. So if you, if there was an individual that was raised away from the systems that would keep you in amnesia, or um, especially the further back you go, the more accurate the, the teachings were as far as the other side uh, was concerned, uh, a lot of the earth magics would get you to a higher vibration, which would lead you into these abilities. But these abilities are the norm for you. Um, so if you take away those negative factors that tell you you don't have them, they naturally occur. It is who you really are, naturally. They have to be, you have to uh, be told that you don't have them over and over for them not to just reoccur. Uh, that's the reason why children, children, all of, almost all of them, will talk about their um, friends that you can't see uh, until you convince them that, that they're invisible friends. And the adults, they're the ones that convince them that they're in, invisible friends and they don't exist. And if you hear your authority figure tell you over and over again that what you're seeing is not real, and that they're really invisible, and then they don't exist, that's a childhood thing, then they totally will go away. But when you first are young and born, you see those other vibrations. Because children, babies and stuff, are, are uh, they, they will naturally go into those higher vibrations. And they will see the creatures that are vibrating in the fourth and the fifth dimension on this planet. They are already on this planet. They always have been. They didn't go anywhere. The, the humans vibrated at a different vibration, a lower vibration. And then with the human senses that have a very limited range, they could no longer uh, pick them up. They could never no longer pick them like a radio station, okay? They could no longer have the dials. The dials are set and fourth dimensional um, abilities and fifth dimensional creatures vibrate at uh, 101 and up. And humans scale only reached 100. Okay, and a little kid could vibrate and they could still reach 101 to say 102. But human adults convince them that 101 to 102, I mean 100, to 101 that that wasn't real and over time then they also could not reach 101 and then they grew up and they taught their their kids the same thing okay so if you are not convinced that you can't do those things uh, then you you will automatically get them so the trick is nowadays is to just not believe what they've told you and allow yourself to be who you really are and the reason why it becomes so tricky is that there are a billion books out there teaching you how to do these things that should come and do come naturally so it's really a lot easier than what people think it is because you get all entrained with these books that tell you how which can drag you to not being good enough. Because let's say you don't, uh, you don't astral project. You follow all their directions and you don't astral project. Oh no, I'm not good enough. Let's say that you follow all their directions and you don't feel like you've gone into a meditative state. Oh, I'm not good enough. Not good enough. So you follow all these directions and those directions keep you in your head. And in your head, you can't do these magical things because your head says you've been taught through your head 
that these things cannot happen scientifically they cannot happen so you you have your head try to do these these magical things when your head has been trained that unless it's scientifically proven they can't be done so you've kind of got yourself in a pickle right off the bat in reality the best thing to do is to relax and start teaching yourself to believe that you are a god and with that believing with that knowledge with that true believing these other things will come to you and things like telepathy um, they've been there all along you just didn't believe them you didn't know what that those small voices were in the back of your head right so these other beings that did these cool things they for whatever reason and there could be countless reasons maybe they are a first-time person here and so they haven't totally got the amnesia in long-term humans have come millions of lifetimes to cut off to develop that amnesia of not being a god it is very very difficult to forget that you're a god very difficult uh, there's a lot of work been done to set up this game so that people will forget that they're gods. So if somebody pops in as a, uh, a first life or a, the first ten lives are really, really tricky, those first ten lives, if they just are on this planet and all of a sudden vampo, uh, they're more likely to remember who they are and do some kind of magical thing. They can also have gotten to the place where they um, are a, a very separated um, from humans and the the uh, systems that were put into place to teach you that you're nothing. Uh, if they get away from that or if they're born of a certain family where they are not taught those things, uh, yeah, it's very likely that they could do these what's considered magical things. These were actually things that are the norm for you very much the norm for you and it isn't based on the planet holding you back the planet uh, will never hold you back nobody no nothing and no one will ever hold you back from from vibrating however it is you want to vibrate but remember that vibrating higher and doing these magical things was not the point of this game so there's always a reason for everything so if if somebody came to do a magical thing um, who knows what the reason for that was but it's all tied together and there's a reason for everything there's always been always been uh, people who could do these these magical things um, yeah the the key was not to do the magical thing the key was to not do the magical things that that was what um, the goal was here to come here and do magical things that raise your vibration and 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 be able to see magical creatures and do telekinesis and do uh, telepathy that was never the goal that was always a oops moment because the goal was always to forget that you could do all of those things okay but there's always been been people that could do it always a lot more than you know about uh, because, you know, for a long time, you know, if you did those things, they killed you. Um, which, the point was, this game isn't for that kind of thing. So, if you've got one god that wakes up and remembers that they can do those things and says, hey, anybody can, you kind of got to, that, that does not help the planet and the game get to the third dimension. And that happened a lot at the beginning of this drop there were there was always some god showing up on the planet and a group of people going uh, you're levitating something or reading somebody's mind or healing somebody and, and then there were a whole bunch of people that would go wait a minute and they'd start to do things and bam oh we had a uh, the creator had a situation where they had to fix it and go oh okay how did this person come in and get on the planet what triggered them how can we avoid that next time? So there were always people coming in and trying out the system over the imaginary time and space that was that went on. 
there were more and more pe consciousness that came into human body form that remembered that they were gods in some way. And then the Creator look and see what happened and fix it. To the point where there were very, very few people, uh, planetarily speaking, that got on the planet that did any of those things. And when there were enough entities, enough consciousness in skin suit at any given time that did not remember who they were and that was so spread out that it did not affect a massive uh, change on the planet to raise it, that's when 3D was finally obtained. The goal was to to have enough people, consciousnesses in skin suit form that had total amnesia that they could get down to the density of the third, the third dimension of that kind of intense density. When that happened, third dimension, as you know, it was obtained, and that was the goal. There's a, a serious mistaken impression that the goal is to come and be a human and then do all these things and raise your vibration and then you get a gold star because you that's that's the goal is to raise your vibration and good for you and if that's what you want to do is raise your vibration then good for you go for it but the goal of the big term overall big perspective game has not been that the goal is to get on the planet be a god come and be in skin suit form in full amnesia and have the experience of not being a god that has been the the point of the game that's the point of the game then that is that's been the point of the game um all of the stuff that's happened on Gaia itself. Gaia was the planet that that was what was being done. It's how 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 far into these deep densities can we go? How much can we fractal down? How much can a god be in human form and have as much of the god consciousness as possible in this human skin suit in amnesia and have that experience? And, yeah, it's, it's been tricky, to say the least. Okay? Hopefully, that explains that. If not, ask the question again, and I will answer it again. Only better. Hopefully, better. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you, everybody, for your support on PayPal and and Patreon, every dollar matters so much to me. I do appreciate every single one of them. Thank you guys so much. Huge, huge hugs all around. Right? <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for this one. Love you so much. Big, big, big hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.